This was an important study that looked at a group of patients, those patients with renal insufficiency of varying degree, and their benefit from beta blocker therapy. If we look at the amount of data we have on patients with heart failure, with reduced ejection fraction, and optimal medical therapy, it's very scant because these patients have mostly been excluded from clinical trials. So this was a really novel attempt to try and look at the patients with renal insufficiency to see if they still had the same degree of benefit from beta blockers, and they did. So we don't have a reason to ever withhold beta blocker therapies in patients with renal insufficiency. Now the issue is, can we extend that to patients with even worse renal function? I think the onus on the clinician is to find a really good reason not to give beta blockers to patients with left ventricular dysfunction because they're generally well tolerated and there may be an enormous benefit as we've seen from this study. How much of an issue do you think this is in U.S. practice? Are clinicians reluctant to use beta blockers when renal function is pretty low? I think it's a good question and I, I, I would have liked to know if he knows the data about how often beta blockers are withheld from patients with renal insufficiency. We certainly know that ACE inhibitors, ARBs, and MRAs are withheld from fear that it would hurt kidney function. But I, I don't know how often the wide variety of clinicians who care for patients with renal insufficiency will withhold beta blockers. For a long time, we were taught not to use beta blockers in patients with diabetes, and of course, they're the patients that also have renal insufficiency. So I think it's, I think as more and more patients with diabetes are crossing over into the field of heart failure and the drugs are crossing into the heart failure, we're going to really have to probably examine this again. One final thing that came out of this study is something that we learned several years ago, which is beta blockers aren't so useful in patients with atrial fibrillation. That really is upsetting to me, and we're going to have to understand that some more as well. And are beta blockers perhaps the uh, safest agent amongst the classes of drugs used to treat HEFREF um, in terms of low renal function, or is there any information about that? I, I think it's a great question. I, I, I can't think of an immediate reason why we might not want to give beta blockers to people with renal insufficiency. I'm sure, I mean, I'm sure we can think of some if we have to, especially hypotension, which you'd want to avoid. But beta blockers don't cause that in general when titrated normally in HEFREF patients. So I don't, I think this kind of study reinforces that we really should find a good reason to use optimal doses of beta blockers in patients with HEFREF and renal insufficiency.